The human race is increasingly becoming more reliant on technology. But there is one pivotal piece of technology which is going to drastically change things, and I'm talking about BCIs, which are brain computer interfaces. Now, this type of technology may seem pretty phenomenal at first, and it's not just the access of information in real time analytics. You could also theoretically control other robots, have haptic feedback systems with the avatars, instantaneously communicate with other people telepathically, and create artificial realities which you can interact in. Ultimately, BCIs have unlimited potential and it could be one of the most important technologies which will be conceived in our lives. In order to exploit all the benefits of BCIs, then we need to figure out how to create a bi-directional link to the brain so that it can both transmit and receive information. In a perfected state, the BCI would not be implanted at all and it would just be a wearable device, which is possible, and there's some pretty neat developments in relation to this, which I'll get to in a little bit. However, I'm not too sure about integrating with a piece of technology, especially if it has two-way communication. And in the most extreme case, it could actually be used to control individuals, maybe even the entire human race. Even though it would seem that you have unlimited access to knowledge and information through the internet, there is no guarantee that this information is accurate whatsoever. And we can already definitely see that through politically biased mainstream media and also social media as well. We also have to consider that there actually might be an addiction to this type of technology. And in an extreme case, a person may actually lose themselves in all sense of individuality. Ultimately, what I'm saying is that we should think about this right now before the technology is actually implemented. Maybe there should be limitations and regulations on what we can actually do with this type of technology, but in the end, it's probably going to be too late. Regardless of what my opinion is, we are already bridging the mind to outside devices, and this type of technology could create another revolution. So let's progress into a more systematic approach in this video format, and let's look at what BCIs are doing right now. So one of the more notable projects out there which bridges the mind with technology is through artificial reality integration. One company has already accomplished integrating their neural select device with the brain to give users telekinetic abilities. Now this thing is a little bit different from its predecessors because it's actually a wearable device and it's not directly wired to the brain. But it is worth noting that this is not bidirectional and the brain is only outputting to the device. Parts right here, let's see if Adam is able to get it. Yep. You notice that he was able to click on four lasers at the same time. Your brain isn't limited to how many objects it can click on. And so here you, you saw that lasers were able to come at him and he was able to interact with them and stop them like he's Kylo Ren from Star Wars, which I think is really cool. It's also worth noting that the Neurobo can be used in AR and XR as well. So for example, you might want to measure the distance from a building or control a flying drone just using pure thought. Now, AR devices are still in the forms of headsets and hefty goggles, but we could one day see them condensed to the size of sunglasses or even contact lenses. This leads us into brain interfaces which can control other robotics, and this can be anything from a humanoid to even a natural robot. So the potential of this application is basically endless, and this may even lead to haptic feedback systems which are incorporated into remotely controlled avatars. One company has already built a brain-controlled exoskeleton for a quadriplegic, who was paralyzed from the shoulders down. But now he's actually fully mobile thanks to these two recording devices on the surface of his brain to collect and transmit signals. The signals are then decoded with an algorithm, and then this software sends commands to the exoskeleton. Once again, the BCI system here is not bi-directional. So the brain is just sending signals out. There is no input to the brain. And it's a very good example of how BCI tech can improve the quality of life. But this type of application may not even require evasive surgery. It could actually be done through a wearable system. A deep learning neural network algorithm sorts out the EEG signals efficiently and users can control a nearby wheelchair or even a vehicle. Now, just like the exoskeleton suit, there is no bi-directional communication, and therefore there is not a haptic feedback system which merges you with the machine and gives you an artificial avatar. And we are still trying to figure out how to make these feedback systems even a reality, but there are projects out there which are looking at bi-directional communication. 
And this leads me into the next example, which obviously most of you know about, and it's called Neuralink. This is yet another project which Elon Musk is involved in. This type of VCI is a little bit more advanced, and it would enable us to perceive, communicate, and act at a higher level. So basically, the Neuralink can carry 3,000 electrodes per array, which are distributed across 96 microscopic threads. Like, if you want to think of it this way, the Neuralink is pretty much a supercar, and it's exponentially faster to any comparable interface. A wireless Bluetooth wearable interface would be on the outside of the user, but the electroid threads are surgically implanted into the brain. Something that I probably would not subject myself to. Now the most interesting thing is, is that I'm not even sure if this can actually bi-directionally communicate. But it is really intriguing, and it's going to be interesting to see where this project leads to. Now, like I said before, bidirectional communication is probably one of the most important keys to merging man and machine. It basically brings out all the potential of brain-computer interfaces. DARPA has already began several projects which are underway to unlocking bidirectional communication, but I just want to emphasize that this is probably the most challenging problem in relation to BCIs. One method would involve transducers, and these would convert electrical signals from neurons into magnetic signals or vice versa to enable bi-directional communication. Another method would use a combination of ultrasound and magnetic fields to generate electric fields for neuromodulation. A third method would use a magnetogenetic approach to make neurons sensitive to magnetic fields. Ultimately, what these experiments mean is that we're going to use some sort of magnetic to electric field approach or use ultrasound. There's no doubt in my mind that we are going to make bi-directional communication a reality one day. But we're going to have to figure out a lot of things about the brain, especially if we want to try to input information into it. And that could be also dangerous as well. In conclusion, BCIs could be one of the most revolutionary technologies ever conceived in our lives. And they basically are combining the internet, artificial reality, and artificial intelligence. And by the time a bi-directional BCI becomes commonplace, it will completely change everything, and it also makes the future really unpredictable. But I want to hear what you think about this. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.